Megan, Captain Courageous, which was the right option in the end, I'd say. Um, not sure. That's a big kick by Terry Kernigan. Another player with senior experience. The ball's been fisted over over the line and out of bounds. And uh, Trent Sheed look alike to ball throw the ball back in. <laughs> we'll just call him Trent. Yeah, it's a good knockdown by Razga again. Good pick up there by Andrew Foster Knight. On to Steve Hogan, who's kicked a bit of an ordinary kick out over there. And uh, Ryan Ellis can't keep control of it. And it's hotly contested by uh, Flanagan, I think it was. And uh, he's he pushed over bounds. Trent Sheed look alike again. He's thrown it in. Uh, uh, Wayne Ma Maslin got it to his uh, foot there. And um, Finley player in Luke Cyber can't keep control of it. Chapman's tackle from behind. Probably, probably sh yeah, no, it was play on. That's a good call by the umpire. He's touched the ground, Andrew Foster Knight. He's gone uh, long, high, down towards Ryan Ellis, who's taken a good mark. And he's had a bit of attention by Flanagan. Probably should have been 50 metres there. But Gary McIntyre has run straight in. He's at 50. He's pumped it long. Beautiful pass to Justin Deegan. That is wonderful football by Cobram. I'd say Ryan Ellis there deserves a pat on the bat, back for that. And Gary McIntyre, beautiful vision and beautiful pass to Justin Deegan, who sh probably should put through Cobram's seventh goal. He's lining up here. He can kick the distance. And he's kicked it well off the boot. He's got the distance, not quite the accuracy. He's given a bit of a push. And uh, it's gone through for behind. So it's Cobram six. 6.42 to Finley two points. Finley player there to kick the ball out. He's gone in Luffman direction. He's only stuck one hand up for it. Wasn't really good by the young player. Steve McKay's picked up well, but he's been dispossessed and it's been called dropping the ball, which probably was a borderline decision, but uh, not a bad one in the end by the umpire. Lacey's uh, there for Finley. He's got the handball off to Watts. And Watts has had a good kick down to Darren Wan, which he probably should run on, but he's ended up going behind the mark instead. He, he's telling his players to lead. No one's really leading. Hawkins is on the lead now, but uh, he's ignored that. And he's gone in the direction... Oh, oh Terry Kernigan. Um, who's that? Mike Craig Cyber. Running straight through that ball then. And Terry Kernigan laid a tackle that he shouldn't have. E either way, it was without the ball or around the neck. So uh, Wayne Maslin's going to kick the ball into Finley's forward line. He's looked for Hawkins. Hawkins in front, but no. Travis Lindy charging through. Done a few good things off the back flank, but he's kicked out to Woolston, which is a poor kick in the end because they're going to have another chance of pumping it in the forward line. He's gone down to uh, Watts. Watts is doing well this quarter. He's kicked into Cyber, but Hogan again, mopping up for Coram. Had a great game. It's out here towards Dundon. Dundon snapped around his... Around his uh, shoulder and uh, the Finley player just ran straight through it there and the ball's gone over line and out of bounds and uh, Crowley seeming frustrated there he's um he's really he's really putting his uh putting his effort into the game and his Finley uh teammates are not you know giving him uh the opportunity like he would Andrew Foster Knight there slipped over but recovered well and he's got the ball to his boot Finley seemed to just have a wall across the half forward line there uh, There's a big pack of players that flew, but nothing really happened. Andrew Foster Knight, great mark. He's run on there. He could take a bounce, but no, he's decided to have a kick instead. Ryan Ellis has got a paddock here, if he can pick it up. Oh, he's gone, drawn the man and gone over the top. That's good play. Steve McKay looking for his op looking for options. And uh, no, it wasn't a bad pass. Justin Deegan just slowed down a bit there. Ibert got rid of it. On to Wilston, who's running a muck off that half-back line. Now, Watts has got a lot of time if he can pick it up, but uh, yes, he has. He's got the ball under his boot, and he's looked in the direction of uh, Luke Cybra. And it, I think he might pick up the ball here. That's a good good pick-up by the young fella. He's got on to Flanagan. Flanagan smothered by Captain Courageous, Terry Kernigan. Good handball out to Lee Chapman, who's got it onto his boot. It's fairly... Oh, the player just come onto the ground. It looks like, uh, yeah, Scotty Idles. Looks like he almost took a mark there, but nothing doing. Lee Chapman, right down to the Cobham's oh. forward line. Steve McKay has pulled a mark out of nowhere and straight on to Stephen Hogan. This is a great play. They're flowing. Oh, yes, Justin Deegan just out-muscling his opponent there. Oh, no, but the, the Finley player, Michael O'Hora, desperate play, and he's knocked it through for a point. Michael O'Hora.
He's set, that's done. He's done really well. His teammates should be proud of him. Kicking out. Kicked out and good mark there to the Finley player. Kicks it to and good mark by Ricky Thomas. The thick of things in the half forward flank. Pump it long, looking for Deegan, I reckon. No, kicked it to Hogan. That's another good option because Hogan is a very long kick of the footy, and he is, should have no trouble with the distance here. Just what how the accuracy is going to be. Brett Cullen down there, injured again. <laughs> well, Hogan is a very good player. Still got next year in the thirds. Should make the distance here. Uh, yes, he has made the distance. No, not quite. Bit scrambly there, and the ball's been run through for yet another behind. The score will be 6 8 44 to two behinds, two points. So Cobham is really on top at the moment. Kicked out there by the Finley player. Foster Knight on his over his back, that's a free kick. Silly play there, Foster Knight. Uh, Woolston. Kicked it. Looking for number five, Hawkins. Oh, Doug Hawkins has been outmaneuvered by <laughs> Dave Conti. Another fine recruit for Cobham this year. Kicked it to uh, looking for Terry, Terry Kernigan. He's really controlling play on the halfback flank. Bad luck there. Lee Chapman. Good, there, good play there. Dave Conti straight in the ball there. Good play. Picked up by Finley player. Knocked back down and ball's a bit scrambling there. And the umpire says, I'll throw it up, fellas. Beaver just instruct instructing Terry Kernigan to maybe kick the ball out onto the wings, maybe. I don't know if that's what his objectives was. Kicked it to Stephen Hogan. Stephen Hogan looking for Ricky Thomas. Ricky Thomas running onto the ball. Good play there by Ricky. Keep, keeps, it, keeps it going. Great play, Ricky. Reminds me of there, a bit of Ablett there, the way he ran to the ball. T tapped on, and I'd say the uh, Finley player will throw, throw it through again. O'Hora conceding a couple of uh, behinds this quarter. And he'll throw it in. Uh, kick it in, sorry. Wrong sport. Kicked it looking for... Oh, Jesus. Got up high then, that bloke. Uh, one. One. Use his magic wand to get up then. <laughs> Picked up by Chapman. A bit, of a bit of scuffle there. Is there? Where? Oh, Brian Ellis. <laughs> yes. Senefani and Chapman there. Good play there by Steve Hogan yet again. Ricky Thomas can't quite grab, mark the ball. Good play there by Steve McKay. I think that might have been holding the ball, no. T got it out. Picked up by Luke Senefani. Oh, that's caught with the ball. Play, the umpire decides to keep the game, game flowing. 19. Andrew Sykes. Good play there by Dave Conti. A fine recruit for Cotton this year. A real find. Good play there by uh, in the back. Who, who, who is that? Right. Who is that? Uh, Ryan Ellis, I think. Looks like there might be a bit of a melee there. Yep, there is. Someone's f throwing punches. I think the Finley players are starting to get a bit pissed off about the proceedings. Yeah, obviously Finley. They're just taking uh, taking their frustrations out on the Coburn players. They they, they really haven't attacked the ball in this quarter. Cobham have run them around a bit. Oh, it looks like... Who's been... Is, oh, you're joking, umpire. Oh, it looks like Andrew Sykes and Ricky Thomas have been yellow carded, so they'll both, they'll both be off for 15 minutes. I'm sure uh, Max won't be happy about that, but uh, as a consolation, you know, both neither team has got the advantage because we've both got seven, 17 players on the ground. He kicked long into the forward line, and that's... Oh, no, the umpire's picked out a free kick. That's pretty true. There was an early fly there by, I think it was Ryan Ellis, or Nick McDonald, actually. Can't tell with these shaved heads. And uh, Ibbett's pumped that long, looking at, looking for one, but he's been out-muscled by Senefani. And uh, Wayne Maslin there just running the ball out of bounds. Finley have attacked the ball a lot harder in the... Um, uh, in, the sec in the second half so far, but they just haven't been able to convert that onto the scoreboard. They still haven't kicked a goal, which is pretty uh, pretty poor. They've really got to get, make their use of the ball. And that's good work by Terry Keane going to Razgar. Versatile. Kicks that 
very long towards Michelotti. He's up high, but he's been crunched. And uh, Woolston and uh, Ibbett there giving him plenty of attention. And uh, the umpire said, it's my ball again. It, it's uh, pretty close to 15, uh, pretty close to three-quarter time. And uh, oh, Hogan's picked the ball up, snapped around, but Ibbett there cleaning up for uh, Finley as always. And he's seen uh, Woolston out wide. Woolston's got a chance to run onto it, but it's two on to one here. Gary Snooze McIntyre should be able to go over the top. Woolston's charged through like a like a raging bull, which is good play by Woolston. He's out number two out of one. He's given in a few punches there. I'm sure the umpire should have seen that. Dirty play by the Finley player. But the umpire has not seen it, and uh, Gary McIntyre has picked himself up gingerly and uh, walked back, to, yeah, walked back to the uh, to the ball up. And Darren won there deliberately out of bounds, I'd say. No, the umpire has seen it otherwise, and uh, he's called for a throw-in. Lee Brasga and uh, Watts here having a very, very uh, interesting battle. They're both very tall players. Brasga obviously not uh, aided by the build, but he's in this occasion he's tapped it down to Fossenot onto Hogan. Nice vision across the ground there. Senefani and uh, Maslin running towards the ball. Maslin can't control it. He's picked it up now, but he's given the handball straight to Nathan Michelotti, who can run inside 50 and have a kick. Oh, he's taking the bounce. He's run inside. And what's he done with it? Oh, no, he's, he's hit the post. Good play there by Nathan Michelotti, but um, I could really see that, that happening. Not, not hitting the post, but uh, <laughs> the outcome wasn't going to be a goal. So it's uh, 6 10 uh, 46, I'd say to uh, two points. Thank you, Nathan. Kick. Watts. 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 Kicks it to um, Dundon. Dundon can't quite get the ball. Bit scrambly over there. I can see Chris Meehan trying to get the ball there. Picked up by... Uh, that was Foster Knight, I think. Cobham again on top that quarter. I don't think Finley even scored that quarter, did they? 6 10 46 to two behinds two points so all Cobham have to do is just keep playing as they are at the moment and they should go on to have a huge victory um, who played by that Terry Kernigan played well again that quarter uh, Dave Conti is doing a lot of good things at center half back you know he might not be very well built but he's he's not scared of the, uh, to go hard at the ball I don't even know what I'm talking about um, Lee Chapman still doing well, and uh, Nick McDonald. He's a bit quieter that quarter, but still doing a lot of things on the wing. Um, all Cobham have to do this quarter is just keep persisting. I don't think Finley can get get the uh, get the seven goals that they need to win the game because they haven't caught, scored a goal yet. Um, but uh, Nathan wants to have a game, but he's not going <laughs> to get one. <laughs> yes, uh, Cobham. Dominated the play in that quarter. Finley not scoring, but Cobram adding 1-5 to their tally, which is uh, which Max, I'm sure, won't be too happy about. He'll be happy that they're in front by uh, a pretty decent margin, which is 44 points. But um, I'm sure he'll just say to his players, look, you know, just settle down. There's a quarter to go. It's the whole season on the line for, the, for this game. And um, I think they should kick pretty straight this quarter. And um... <laughs> Yeah, thanks, Daniel. Now, um... Oh, Cobram just absolutely dominating in, in every area so far. I'd say the only place that they're not is uh, in the in the ruck jewels, which is pretty even. Yeah. Yes, so uh, there goes the siren to start the last quarter in a well at this stage one sided game. But Finley um, yeah, have sort of evened it up in the last two quarters. It was only really that four goal break that Cobram got at the start of the game that that's made, put it out of reach. But um. In other games today, uh, I think reserves between uh, Daniloquin and Mulwala. I think uh, Daniloquin should um, should come away with the uh, Premiership Cup. And um, in the seniors, although being a really close game, I think like, I think Baruga would probably be tagged as a favourite, I'd say. But um, I think Daniloquin might just wanted a bit that bit more than the um, opposition because of uh, because of their last uh, yeah, last couple of years of losing grand finals. What do you think, Daniel? I agree with you, except for uh, I think Denilkin should have an easy win in the seniors. They've got the players over the ground. Um, I think Mo Wallace should win the fours. <laughs> and in the seconds.